Hello everyone, this is Graham with Terabit Web Security News, bringing you yet another cybersecurity news story. Today we bring you the Microsoft Exchange server hack that was hacked by Hafnium. Microsoft has patched these vulnerabilities and made these patches available on March 3rd, 2021. Microsoft, Velexity, and Dubex worked together to publish indicators of compromise and mitigation steps to prevent these steps from happening to others in the future. Microsoft looked at the victims that were the target of the attacks and found code fingerprints and similarities of procedures that were used in these attacks to the nation-state actor called Hafnium. Hafnium is based out of China. All these vulnerabilities that we are exploring in this video are only for on-premise Microsoft Exchange servers. Microsoft Exchange Online is unaffected. CVE 2021-26855 is a server-side request forgery vulnerability, also called SSRF. An attacker can send specially crafted HTTP requests to the server and get authenticated as the Exchange server itself. CVE 2021-26857 is an insecure deserialization vulnerability in the Unified Messaging Service. An attacker can use this vulnerability to run any code as system and would require administrative privileges to perform this exploit. CVE 2021-26858 is a post-authentication arbitrary file write vulnerability in Exchange. Any attacker that has been able to authenticate to the server will be allowed to write a file anywhere on that server. CVE 2021-27065 is a post-authentication arbitrary file write vulnerability in Exchange. This is yet another vulnerability like above and allows for an authenticated user to write a file anywhere on the server. Both CVE 2021-26858 and CVE 2021-27065 could use the first exploit, CVE 2021-26855, to serve as the authenticated session to use either of these last two exploits. Exploits. To explain how Hafnium used these attacks, the server-side request forgery vulnerability was used to attack the server using HTTP and gets authenticated as the server. The attacker then uploaded web shells to the server using the post-authentication arbitrary file write vulnerabilities. Then the attacker was able to use the insecure deserialization vulnerability to explore email boxes or run more malicious code to further compromise the server. The Exchange server was the access point into the company's network. Hafnium could use this attack to monitor, spy, and exfiltrate data from the company and further exploit company employees to use against the company itself. The attacker could use this attack to contact other companies by impersonating the attacked company to further Hafnium's agenda. For Exchange administrators out there, keep in mind all these vulnerabilities have been patched as of March 3rd, 2021. Microsoft urges anyone with an Exchange server to patch immediately. If you are wanting to see if your server has been compromised, Microsoft has provided some PowerShell scripts and commands to be run on your server to find logs and indicators to look for. If you're wanting to see if you were compromised by CVE 2021-26855, Microsoft states exploitation can be identified by searching for log entries where the authenticated user is empty and the anchor mailbox contains the pattern of server info, tilde, asterisk, forward slash, asterisk. For CVE CVE 2021-26858, files should only be downloaded to the Exchange Server temp directory under normal circumstances. Any other files will produce a download failed and temporary file message in the logs. To detect CVE 2021-26857, Microsoft states exploitation of this deserialization bug will create application events with the following properties. Source, MS Exchange Unified Messaging, Event Type, Error, event message contains system.invalid cast exception. For CVE 2021-27065, look in the exchange log files and look for the all set app name virtual directory properties should never contain a script. Always the internal URL and external URL should be pointing to valid URIs. If you need further information, see the notes below. You have been watching the Terabit Web Security News with Graham as your host. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for further updates. 